Italy is a fantastic destination for a, for a great rail journeys holiday. The variety of what you can see is, I don't think, repeated anywhere else. Starting in the north, you've got the Alps and the wonderful lakes. Um, lake Como is so dramatic and really sort of steep-sided mountains of going away from the lake. Moving across to Lake Garda, it's a lot more gentle, there's sort of rolling hills. So even in that north section, there's a real sort of variety of, of different type of landscapes. On both sides of Italy, the coastline is absolutely stunning. On the one side, there's the Mediterranean coast and wonderful villages that sort of cling to the cliffside. The Cinque Terre is a, a beautiful, it's a collection of five villages and they are just, they're so precious, they, they can't be replicated anywhere else. Coming a little bit further south, the, you go into the rolling hills of Tuscany and Umbria, so a lot less dramatic than the, the Alps in the north, but no less beautiful. The historic cities in Italy are irreplaceable as well, they're like nothing else. I think one of the best experiences travelling by rail in Italy has to be the arrival into Venice. Um, it's like nothing else and it's definitely the best way to arrive in the city. You walk out of the front entrance of the train station and there you are on the banks of the Grand Canal in the centre of Venice. It's just, it takes your breath away. Florence is just so brimming full of art and historic artefacts. The Uffizi Gallery is one of a kind and the fact that you can be walking through the streets and come across a Michelangelo statue is really quite incredible. Rome for me is my favourite European city without a doubt. Uh, the thing I really love is that you can sort of set off walking, um, five minutes later you'll stumble on the Pantheon, you know another ten minutes wandering through these beautiful streets, you arrive at the Spanish Steps, carry on a bit further and there's the Colosseum. It really is like that, that these world famous sites are literally sort of five, ten minutes walk apart. Um, heading further south, I love Sorrento, it's such a, a beautiful, relaxing seaside resort. Um, it's not your typical beach resort because the town itself is on the, the cliffs. It's really just such a relaxing place and have a glass of limoncello overlooking the water. In Sicily there's a train called the Circa Mitnea, um, which is literally a train that travels around the base of Mount Etna. So you, you circumnavigate the whole thing, so the whole way around you've got wonderful views and get to really experience that. 